Here's a short disclaimer before the rest of the video. I don't consider blocking people to be any different from telling them not to contact you anymore. It's a way of getting the last word in, and it's pathetic. And if you really think that you can make a 17 minute video warning people about me, and expect me not to respond to it, you're out of your fucking mind. Okay, asshole, I don't want to get too emotional in this video response, because clearly you were holding back the tears yourself. Uh, what's the best thing you accuse me of? You accuse me of <laughs> sternerite uh, ego egocentrism, but then you act puzzled when I display behaviour that doesn't fit into your sternerite egoist framework that you've tried to poke me in. Um, has it ever occurred to you that perhaps I'm not being a sternerite egoist? Uh, I don't even like Sterner anymore. He's good for a few quotes, but apart from that, he's he's been dog shit. I used to think that Nietzsche was completely inferior to Sterner, but that's not true at all. Um, Nietzsche shits on Sterner. Um, you also talk about how you're not doing this out of any sense of justice, yet only m moments prior to that video you talked about morality and how I don't understand the kind of morality that you you hold to. Can you not go two seconds without contradicting yourself? No. The best slander you really have against me is this you James stuff. Um, I've never condemned those channels because I think the channels are genuinely funny, but I wasn't responsible for any of them. Um, the first one that you James accused me of making, well, he he suggested that I made it, uh, but he didn't outright can, you know, he didn't outright accuse me, was the seventy eight one. And the reason why I was the first person to comment on that one was because I was one of the first people to see the Thunderfoot video that he then set as a response to. And so I checked the channel out, and since I hated you, James, I thought, well, this is a funny channel, I'm going to subscribe to this and friend this and comment on this. And the channel that you're talking about now, you, James, I978, uh, is a user formerly known as Shadowgazer. And he and I were friends, and he used to do the same thing. Um, he, he had a picture of you, James, as his channel, um, his channel logo. Uh, but I recognised that it was him because he used phrases like butt girt, which is a thing that Shadowgazer used to say. Um, so you really have no reason to believe that it's me doing these you James channels other than I've commented early when don't you think it's also likely that given that I'm friends with Shadowgazer he might want to comment on my channel first which he did and so I'd be one of the first people to comment back has, has that ever occurred to you I mean really um, what, what, what else is the best thing yeah you again you defend Varioblast once again, you, you say that I have I have zero evidence for Varioblast being an abuser. Um, well, other than the body language, the words, her behaviour, his proposals to have his children uh, growing up with the surname Nigger just for his stupid ideology. Um, that's evidence, I think, of being an abuser, of being an irresponsible and abusive parent. Uh, the only reason why I took down my accusations um, was because Blue told me to, and this was about her, it was about saving her. Um, but of course me trying to, you know, look out for a decent human being, like Blue, um, clearly didn't happen because, as you say, I'm a, I'm a Sternerite egocentrist. Um, just like the um, Weed and Freak's brother briefly mentioned that h how great I am because uh, something to do with paedophiles. You, you, you didn't elaborate because you didn't know what he was talking about. Um, I think you were trying to say that it was also slander when I talked about the paedophiles. It wasn't. It was, a, it was a network. It was a whole network of channels, friended and subbed to each other. And the favourites all consisted of young young children, young girls, you know, doing erotic stuff. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a YouTube pedo network, and I lose no sleep for pointing it out. And if I was this stern right egocentrist, all just caring about my reputation, I wouldn't have made that video. I would have just, you know save myself getting a strike and just kept quiet about it but I fucking didn't because I thought it needed to be brought to attention but the truth is I don't really give a shit about my reputation I really don't give a shit about my reputation because something you accuse me of is destroying rational discourse where was the rational discourse when people like you jumped on the Ruka bandwagon this is a girl who's really no threat to anyone I mean, you know, you can disagree with her views and you can argue with her views, but there are other people who express her views far better. There was Mr. Hair IQ, there was Spork Talk, there was Fringe Elements. And again, I'm not condoning their views, but the fact that so few people even dared responding to them shows the fucking intellectual integrity of this community that you think I'm this bane of, really. This community that you're sucking up to now. 
I mean, it's exactly the same with the whole Christianity and the whole religion thing. People step right past Yo Yonahan Rats. They step right past uh, Mig Killer. They step right past, uh, you know, Veritas 48. And then they jump on the Mr. Crazy Dudeful bandwagon. They jump on the Mystical Forest bandwagon. They jump on the Truthful Christian bandwagon. And in the case of Volta, they fail to even do that. It's fucking pathetic picking on these idiots. These idiots who aren't a threat to anyone and no one's convinced by. And I'm guilty of it too. And I'm ashamed that I was guilty of it. Which is why I don't do that shit anymore. Okay? Rational fucking discourse. Yeah, that's right. And I'm not saying that you, James, is too guilty of this. My beef with you, James, really is how stuck up he is. Um, but he is still part of the YouTube atheist community that does engage in what I dislike. And so, I really don't give a fuck about losing my reputation in their eyes. There are a good portion of them I do like, but the vast majority of them, like the little weasels who talk shit about me in YouTube, in you James' comment section, and I can't respond to because he's blocked me, people like that who don't want to come at me directly, and I'm not closely associated with, I don't really care what they think. If there's somebody who's a friend with me and then they turn against me, yeah, I'll, I'll be a, bit, a, little, bit, a little bit pissed off at that. Because, hey, it's a friend, you know, I don't like losing friends. But apart from that, the most, the rest of them could just go fuck themselves. And so this video really didn't need to be 17 minutes long, by the way. I actually recorded a, uh, a screen flow response to this. The same way I responded to your uh, Tucker video. But it was 54 minutes long, and I realised that I hadn't chosen to record sound. <laughs> so if there was just 15 minutes of me mouthing, it's just kind of ridiculous. This is why this kind of off the top of my head. And, you, you know, you, you expect me to praise you for defending me, which, you know, thank you for defending me. Thank you. But then, you, you know, you act like you have, um, you know, there's this moral imperative to defend these people. Uh, like the way you defended Atacana against my accusations of him being insane. Uh, you demand evidence that he's insane. Well, how about the evidence that you talked about in your fucking video response that I was commenting on? How about the fact that his views on racial segregation actually went to the extent that we should limit uh, medical research, that we should limit modern medicine so that they couldn't reproduce, and how they'd be better off in an actual jungle environment, and how they should be kept out with moats. Whereas people like Fringe Elements, by the way, who you slag off constantly, he's like the boogeyman to you, he just thinks that people are naturally racist, and that in a free society people naturally would segregate more and more. Whereas Atacan is actually outright wanting forced segregation which is disgusting and it's even more disgusting that you don't say anything about that you act all civilized oh i want a civilized debate with him but with fringe elements whose views are nothing compared to Attic Atacana's, you slag him off like he's loud lord fucking sauron it's really really fucking pathetic so this pretense of rational discourse you, you, you try and pass yourself off as, oh, look at me, I'm engaging in rational debate and you're ruining it. Because, what are you accusing me of? You're accusing me of just going by my emotions. I mean, really, like, you just operate like a robot, is that it? You're just, you're just this pure, logical thinker. You allow your own subjective whim to dictate your actions. You should think objectively with logic and science and reason. That's Ayn Rand impression. Because you're sounding like the stereotypical objectivist. And while we're on the issue of objectivism, you do accuse me of not backing up my statements, like I said before, even though the evidence, the, the whole Atacana insanity thing was self-evident, the variablast abusive thing would have been evident if you just looked at the videos I was talking about. Um, and so, you actually accuse me of not backing up my points, yet the response that you made to the objectivists, where you accused them of not using the correct terminology, and, you know, how they're a right-wing ideology, of course, which is a blanket statement, because that includes Nazis and stuff, and objectivists are far from fascists. I don't agree with objectivism. And so, the accusations that you've made against me, these are things that you've carried out yourself. You accuse me of destroying rational discourse, yet you're sucking up to a crowd who engages in nothing but that. You accuse me of not backing up my claims, yet you do the exact same thing when you slag off objectivists. You accuse me of using my emotions only when, what else could you have been using when you were just slagging off Hey Ruka for no reason? When she wasn't even talking to you, you didn't even like rebut anything she said. 
I mean, really, you, you're you're a walking contradiction, mate. What else is there? What else have you? What do you do that, that pissed me off in this video? Uh, you get all angry when I accuse you of not being a real anarchist. I wouldn't say that you're not real anarchist. Then I'd say that the anti-statism aspect is peripheral, and that you're mainly just a leftist, which is common amongst anarchists actually. Like Mister One Thousand One Nights is exactly the same. But I don't think you're seriously anti-state at all, and that's that's pretty evident. You know, you support statist options as a temporary choice. You're reminiscent of a Marxist in that respect. But of course, it's it's very common for anarchists nowadays to do that. So I wouldn't say that you're not an anarchist. I'd just say you're not anti-state, not really. I mean, wanting to abolish the state in the long term means you're still means you're still a statist. So so really, just just one last point about the whole anarchist thing. You've accused me of not being an anarchist. You, you you did it when you talked about the advocacy of the police force, which was unfounded anyway. And I even corrected you by saying that I shared the views of Benjamin Tucker, who you knew fuck all about. And when you talk about your, your, your pretense of evidence and how you rely on evidence to back up your claims, but how I don't, what evidence did you back up for your interpretation of Benjamin Tucker? one sentence from a secondary source. That's pathetic. So here's the thing, if you're going to play a white knight and you're going to defend people, you also have to provide evidence in defence. You see, in a court of law, the defence has to have evidence, just like the prosecution has to have evidence. Okay? So just sitting there saying, ooh, no, he's not insane, no, he's not insane, no, he's not an abuser, doesn't do anything. You have to rebut the points made. You have to destroy the reasons given. You have to provide counter evidence. So give me a fucking break, mate. Give me a fucking break. Oh, and one final note. I really can't think of anything more egocentric, anything more sternerite than devoting 338 videos over the course of a year and a half, making videos daily, talking about your opinion on things, throwing your two cents into things. Whereas I, on the other hand, will make the occasional video response to somebody who initiates contact. Or I will make a video just montage of people being silly. Or I will make a video expanding other people's philosophies, like the one I did with Pradhan, the one I did with Schopenhauer. I don't see how my behaviour on YouTube, if anything, is more egocentric than yours. And there's nothing wrong with vlogging, but it's very egocentric. And if you're going to slag people off for egocentrism, you better not be the worst egocentrist yourself. I really can't believe I forgot the first thing you accused me of. You accused me of fanaticism, insisting that I'm right. Sorry, but if somebody comes at me saying a bunch of things that are, in my opinion, incorrect, f with faulty reasoning, poor evidence, poor deductions, I'm going to respond and correct everything they said, like I did with you on the Benjamin Tucker issue. I refuted everything you said, with evidence from Benjamin Tucker, quotes from Benjamin Tucker, quotes from your own evidence and used it against you. I refuted you so hard that the only rejoinder you had was to latch on to one thing I said in the last split second of the video, which was that Rothbard unjustly called himself a pro-capitalist, and I'll just happily take that back. What I will not do is try and pretend that there were no similarities between Rothbard's leftist phase and Benjamin Tucker. But sorry, that's just me being egocentric. I have to insist that I'm right, when really we should all share the wrongness and share the rightness for the benefit of everybody. Get out of town.